All right, guys. So today we got to talk about fail former MSNBC host Torre, whom got owned on Twitter for a very, very, very hypocritical tweet that he put out regarding the situation going on with Novak uh, Dolcevic in Australia, where this guy, Novak Dolcevic, basically, it looks like he might get deported because of his vaccination status. Now, if you guys don't know who Novak Dolcevic is, he is one of the top tennis players in the world. I mean, he is the number one tennis player in the world. Some people say he could be the greatest of all time, and he's currently being discriminated against and, and potentially will not be able to participate in the Australia Open Tournament as uh, Australia, who is a country with a ton of strict lockdowns and restrictions, requires people be double vaccinated or have what they deem to be a valid medical exemption in order to enter the country. So this dude tried to come into the country uh, basically after getting a medical exemption from numerous authorities. And um, Australia was like, nah, <laughs> right? We're not going to let you in. And they're holding this guy up uh, at a basically a detention center. Uh, they use for refugees and whatnot and potentially could be deported uh, pending what happens with his case. So this has caused a whole lot of controversy uh, that I want to talk about. And I want to talk about the backlash that Tere is getting for his very hypocritical take on the situation. But first, let's read the details here about what's going on. Tennis star Novak Djokovic had a vaccine exemption to enter Australia after a COVID infection on December 16th, his lawyers say in court documents. Djokovic was denied entry to Australia after landing in Melbourne this week to play in the Australian Open. The world's top-ranked tennis player is currently in an immigration detention center ahead of a court case on Monday. His case has caused a huge outcry in Australia and made headlines around the world. A second Australia Open hopeful, Renata Varakova, what from the Czech Republic, has now left the country after having her visa canceled. The Czech government had argued the 38-year-old, ranked 81 in the world, had entered Australia on a valid exemption because she too had had COVID recently. Okay, so I want you guys to understand. What they're arguing is, is that, hey, you know, we had COVID recently, so uh, this is a valid exemption for why we don't necessarily need vaccination. That's what they're saying. And uh, apparently, um, Australia is, is not going for it. They're not seeing that as a valid medical exemption. That's what's going on here. Dolcevic, 34, who has said he is opposed to vaccination, had been granted a medical exemption to play in the tournament in a decision that infuriated many ordinary Australians who have been living under some of the world's strictest COVID rules. But upon landing, the Serbian was then denied entry into the country. Okay, so here's the thing. I disagree with the lockdowns. Right, I disagree with the mandates, but I don't blame normal, regular Australians for being mad uh, if <laughs> a tennis star is allowed to come into their country uh, unvaccinated, considering how they're basically being forced to be vaccinated and they're living under these lockdowns, these restrictions, and these mandates. I will understand why ordinary Australians would be pissed off about that, right? Because that seems like this guy is getting privileged that they're not getting. But again, with that being said, I mean, I I'm just against the lockdowns and the mandates in general, okay? But I can totally understand why people who uh, actually live there who are being forced to deal with this from, from the government would feel some type of way about a tennis star uh, being able to get around the rules, okay? I, I totally understand why they would feel that way. His lawyer said he was kept at the immigration control point at Melbourne Airport for about eight hours after he arrived and that he had little communication with them during that period. Australia Border Force officials said the player had failed to provide appropriate evidence because a prior infection was not a valid reason to enter without a vaccination. But in court documents released on Saturday, Dolcevic's lawyers argued the player had been granted a temporary visa by Tennis Australia because of his recent infection. It appears they will effectively tell the court that the decision to revoke the visa was affected by a variety of uh, jurisdictional errors. Okay, so basically, uh, he was granted a temporary visa by Tennis Australia. And I'm not necessarily sure if this happened because of the outcry or what, but for whatever reason, um, they're deciding that, you know what, we're going to revoke this 
visa, right? Because we made some errors, right? And this is par for the course when it comes to politics. There had been no prior announcement of Dokovic's COVID infection, which was confirmed by a PCR test on December 16th. But on December 17th, Dokovic posted images to Twitter of his master's appearance at a ceremony in which he was honored with his own Serbian poached stamps and recognition for his achievements. So this is pictures of him, <laughs> allegedly, a day after he supposedly had COVID. Uh, which I guess is part of the reason why I guess the Australian government is either skeptical or they're seeing that as, as a part of the issue. According to news agency APF, also on December 17, he posed masks with young players at the Novak Tennis Center. It is unclear whether he knew he had COVID when the photos were taken. While he awaits a final decision, Dolcevic's lawyers have asked he be moved from the immigration detention hotel that has often been criticized by refugees for its poor conditions where he is currently being held to a more suitable place of detention that would allow him to train ahead of the Australian Open. Fellow tennis player Verikova was held at the same immigration detention hotel as Dolcevic, the Park Hotel, and has described it as like being in a prison. However, Serbian Prime Minister Anna Brunovic said Dolcevic would remain at Park Hotel until a final decision was made. Quote, we've managed to make sure gluten-free food is delivered to him as well as exercising tools, a laptop, and a SIM card so that he was able to stay in contact with his family, she told reporters, adding that talks behind the scenes uh, had been constructive. It's a positive tone from the Australian side, she said. Australia's pandemic border rules ban foreigners from entering the country if they are not either double vaccinated or have a medical exemption from having the jabs. While foreigners can fly into Australia on a visa applied for online, they must clear immigration customs on arrival at the airport. The Australian Open begins on January 17th in Melbourne. Okay, so um, yeah. This is a very, very sticky situation for Australia, right? I mean, they're basically keeping the top tennis player uh, in the world out of the country uh, over his vaccination status, right? Even though, allegedly, he had COVID recently, okay? They're, they're, they're still keeping him out. He could potentially be deported here, okay? Now, obviously, this has led to some takes from some high-profile figures, as this is a high-profile case, and this take right here from Torre uh, is really going to come and bite him in the butt, considering some things that he said in the past. Um, but let's read his take on this, uh, because, you know, the wokes are going to have something to say about uh, unvaccinated people and how they should be discriminated against. OK, as he said on January 4th, Dolcevic getting an exemption to play in the Aussie Open despite a national vaccine mandate is yet another example of an elite athlete getting a pass he doesn't deserve. Stop coddling the unvaccinated. Dolcevic demanding and getting special treatment to excuse him being unvaccinated doesn't really mesh with his desire to be the creator and the leader of a union that protects all the players. Dolcevic does not have a right to enter a country that he is not a citizen of. Nothing requires Australia to let him in. Okay, so this guy right here is obviously pro-vaccine mandate. He's saying, listen, uh, Australia should not have to let him in because this dude is unvaccinated, right? He's implying that unvaccinated people are a danger to society, which justifies uh, Australia not letting him in. Okay, that, that's what he's saying, right? He's making that argument, okay? Stop calling them, he says. But as you guys know, the internet is forever. And this guy got absolutely destroyed. He got destroyed by Defiant Ales, which is a great Twitter account to follow, by the way, that calls out the hypocrisy of everybody on the left. But Defiant Ales posted this nuke on Teray, basically uh, showing a tweet from his, literally, literally, on December 28th, 2021, in which he says, Quote, if you think closing the southern border is truly a part of a serious COVID strategy, then you need to stop watching Fox and stop consuming all the anti-immigration propaganda and go get vaccinated. <laughs> Again, this was literally a few days before he tweeted about Dolcevic not having the right to enter a country because he is 
unvaccinated. Now, again, this tweet got 56,000 likes and 10,000 retweets because it is a pure example of hypocrisy. This guy, for whatever reason, thinks it's cool, right, to let a bunch of people who are most likely unvaccinated, illegal immigrants, into this country. It says, hey, you're an anti-immigration bigot if you think that uh, closing the southern border, not letting all these unvaccinated people into this country uh, is a serious response to uh, COVID, right? He's saying it is not justified to close the southern border as a COVID response. That's what he's saying. Again, most of these immigrants are unvaccinated. But when it comes to the Dochevit situation, though, all of a sudden, this dude is anti-immigration. Where he's like, no, no, no. He's unvaccinated, so therefore, um, he's not allowed to enter the country, right? Implying that, hey, him being unvaccinated is probably a danger to the country, right? So after this man gets called out on this, instead of just taking the L and moving on, right? Just taking the L that you're a hypocrite, okay? Uh... <laughs> He doubles down. He says, I know that nuance is hard for the right, but these tweets don't contradict. America won't solve our COVID problem by closing our Mexican border. Our COVID problem does not stem from brown immigrants. Also, Australia doesn't owe unvaxxed Dojovich the right to enter. Is this hard? Well, apparently, uh, I, I don't know, because you could argue that Australia not letting Dojovich in because he's unvaccinated uh, is not going to solve their COVID problem. Right. I think we can objectively say that. Right. We can say the same for both. So why are you opposed to him? But you're not opposed to letting thousands, potentially millions of unvaccinated, undocumented immigrants into this country. Because at the end of the day, they, these people, right, they don't have any real uh, consistency in their beliefs. Right. Is whatever I like it that day. Right. And the thing is, is that they love hating on people that are unvaccinated, particularly people that happen to be white, right? They love hating on those people and, and pushing for those people to be discriminated against. However, when it comes to so-called brown immigrants, right, that are unvaccinated, all of a sudden, open borders, right? Open borders is cool. The hate for the unvaccinated goes out the window, okay? Almost as if this dude is basing his opinion about who should be allowed into a country and who should not be allowed into a country, not based off the vaccination status, but it seems to me it might have something to do with their skin color, right? Might have something to do with their skin color. I'm just saying, I don't know, man. Isn't this what people on the left always do, right? They just assume that people who are not being treated equally, it has to be because of their skin color, right? Ain't this how it works? Because in my opinion, I think it's pretty bad when you come out here and say that you're cool with letting uh, thousands of unvaccinated uh, illegal immigrants into a country. And if you're opposed to that, then you're anti-immigrant. Right. And that it's not justified uh, to keep these people out of the country over COVID. Not justified. But yet you're justifying the Australian government keeping one tennis star uh, who happens not to be black or brown out of uh, the country uh, over his vaccination status. Yeah, I, I find it interesting how you reconcile that mentally. I find that interesting. But hey. The hypocrisy knows no bounds with the left. I thought it was hilarious that uh, he got exposed by Defiant L's uh, for uh, his hypocrisy in, in this situation. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.